The Lord gave me this dream. If it is for you, it will resonate with your spirit. And as always, take everything back to the Lord for confirmation and prayer. God likes to do things in a certain order. Where do you think you get that trait from? The path has become crooked along the way, and some get impatient and try to take shortcuts. They choose to go a different route instead of following the path. They then realize the shortcut only placed them behind others who followed the path and are now ahead of them. But thankfully, because of God, he sends his helpers or angels to direct you back on course. God will cut corners and he will make a way out of no way to put you back in the position you originally should have been in before you decided to try a shortcut. God rejoices when his children decide to follow the right path. God will place you above and not beneath. Once back in your rightful position, there are more choices to be made. When you're looking at the world, it is hard to make the right choice because the world keeps spinning. The world keeps changing. Looking at the world makes it hard to keep things in order. You will never find what you are looking for looking at the world. In the world, the burden is heavy. You have to do the tasks others should be doing. Those who have gone before you think this is normal. They think life should be this hard. They constantly stand in lines to receive heavy burdens as if this is how life should be, as if this is normal. Looking at the world, decisions are hard to make, but any choice you make in the world leads you back to the same place, taking longer to reach your destination. And once there, the destination will require a new birth. It will require a new life. With God, a new thing is always springing up. The very ones you thought were your enemies were the very ones who promoted you. The words they spoke only made you look better. The words they spoke only justified you, even if it wasn't their intention. The very call on your life requires elevation. You will be a lender and not a borrower. You will be placed above and not beneath. Just like with Joseph, you may have to forgive and help those who once threw you in a pit. Don't look back. Keep walking forward. The ones who are destined for your future will meet you there. You are never too old to learn something new. You are never too old for your life to change. Your life does not have to end in defeat, but in victory through Christ Jesus. They may have started before you, but now God has placed you in their same position. Those who carry the Spirit of the Lord will always find their people, people that will help you along your journey. Even the ones who oppose you or are different than you will be used to advance you and increase you. No matter what position you choose, you have the anointing as the head. You have discernment, which allows you to allocate people and things to the best places and positions for their capabilities. You have served joyfully, and these are the traits of a great leader. There will be agreement with those chosen to aid you on your path. Because how can two walk together unless they agree? What you thought would scare you or annoy you actually enabled your peace. You have learned to choose peace over frustration, peace over fear, and peace over anger. No matter how many things came your way to worry you or frustrate you, you chose peace. Blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God. The enemy will always send people to remind you of your past. They will try to minimize God's blessing on your life. They will try to cause fear or make you feel less than. They will try to highlight the problems instead of the blessings. Those people are not free and want you to become entangled with them again. But forget the former thing. Focus on the new things that are constantly springing up. When you focus on the new, those who are destined for your future will meet you there. Make sure you take them down your path and don't follow their path. Even though their path may glitter like gold at first and light up the night sky, it will soon fade and you will be walking away from life. It will take you away from your secure dwelling. It will take you away from green pastures and into the valley of the shadow of death. It will lead you back into old habits and activities that serve no purpose but to bring trouble in your life. The world's best offerings could never compare to what you have through Christ Jesus. 
Don't let old mindsets or insecurities keep you in familiar places and making familiar choices. Always be discerning of the intentions of the heart. Even if these people are close to you, remember even Judas kissed Jesus. Nothing you do in the world will remain. It is all a chasing after the wind. You will always be thirsting again and again. You will be weighed down trying to uphold the burdens of others. But thankfully, God always looks for and finds his lost sheep. Even the trouble only leads you back into the arms of God. The irritations, the frustration, the anger, the fear all led you back into the arms of your shepherd. Back into green pastures and back beside the still waters. Hallelujah. Amen.